If you were starting with $500, what should you do in your real estate investing business in order to get deals, in order to close deals? And I also want you to understand the mindset that it's gonna take in order for you to get from where you are right now to where you wanna go. And just so you know, I can relate to this because you know, when I started, I was 21 years old and I only had $250 to my name. I was living in the projects, I was working in a barbershop, I was also a cold caller down on Wall Street in Manhattan making $200 or $250 every two weeks. So in reality, I was only making $500 a month at 21 years old living in New York City, all right? Uh, that's a problem. And because of that, I really wanted to uh, obviously improve my lifestyle. I wanted to improve my life in general, and I wanted to make money in real estate. So the first thing I really wanna talk about is real estate investing can be easier than what you think. Most people overcomplicate the business. It's a simple process, all right? It's all about driving leads. Once you drive leads, you have to screen leads, and then you have to de de decide on the exit strategy that you wanna take on the other end, whether it be wholesaling, creative real estate investing, uh, buy and hold, um, whatever the case may be. And I'm only talking primarily about residential real estate. Commercial real estate, same thing. You have to drive leads, screen the leads, and make sure you have a deal. And then on the flip side, you can decide on your exit strategy. So let's talk about if you were starting with $500. First and foremost, if you're brand new to real estate investing, I really want you to understand that this is a long-term play, all right? I know you hear it all the time, investors coming in, making money within their first month in the business. Let's just get that out of our heads, all right? I'm here to be real with you. Chances are you're not gonna get a deal your first month. Is it possible? It absolutely is. You can get a deal, you know, for example, I just had a student, um, I'm gonna be doing a video on this pretty soon, but um, he's been in my coaching program for uh, I want to say five, maybe six weeks, and we're closing a virtual deal right now, right in the middle of all of this chaos that's going on for $101,000, all right? I'll talk about that deal later on. So is it possible for you to get a deal within the first 30 to 45 days? Absolutely. But I also want you to understand that you got to put in some work. This is not an easy task. It's not an easy business when you don't know what you're doing, right? Thankfully, I have uh, videos all up on YouTube uh, that will show you. And I'm gonna continue putting these videos out, being as real as possible, forgetting about all of the fluff that you know a lot of uh, guys are putting out there on real estate investing and, and trying to show lifestyle and stuff like that. This is not about that, all right? Forget about the lifestyle stuff. It's cool, but lifestyle don't pay the bills, all right? Lifestyle, showing flashy videos and cars and stuff up on YouTube and traveling all over the place, don't pay the bills, all right? You want real results, follow somebody who's actually doing the real estate business, all right? And I'm trying my very best to show you as much of that, of what I do on a daily basis, or at least on a weekly basis, of what we can actually capture on camera, showing you that I actually do the business, and I have been since 2002, all right? So if I'm starting today with $500, Keep in mind two things that you want to keep in mind that you will sacrifice when it comes to starting up your business. Number one, you're either gonna sacrifice time or number two, you're gonna sacrifice money. All right, let me repeat that. Very, very important for you to understand that. You're either gonna sacrifice time or money. When I first started, I barely had any money. Again, $250 to my name. And if I would have spent that money, I would have been dead broke. What was the commodity that I had? I had time, right? And thankfully, as of today, and when I'm shooting this actual video, most people right now are home and you have a major commodity that's gonna help you get deals. So this is a perfect time to take advantage of this, especially when you're limited on cash. So what can we do if we're limited on funds, but we have time. Number one, if you have enough money to drive around in your car right now, 
you can go driving for dollars. My cameraman, Rondell, he literally found, how many houses did you find over the last week? So Rondell found 10 houses and he just sent last week, how many houses did you find? Found 32 houses, okay? Not making excuses, getting up, getting out there and doing, he, he didn't procrastinate. That's the whole point, right? He take the time out. How many, how many days did it take for you to find those 42 houses all together? Two days, come on guys. He found 42 houses in two days, all right? Not procrastinating, 42 potential people that he can now contact and uh, potentially make an offer on their property, all right? So number one, if you're absolutely broke but you got a little bit of gas money coming out of that 500 bucks, you can go driving for dollars. Number two, I'm gonna recommend, again, having time on your hands, step outside of your comfort zone. All right. When you step outside of your comfort zone, you'll be able to accomplish things at an unbelievable scale. All right. So what do I mean by stepping outside of your comfort zone? Most people don't want to get on the phone and start cold calling. Right. So I'm going to recommend if you're limited, again, you can't be choosy if you don't have a lot of money. If you're limited, I want you to pull a list. All right. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can uh, get your first list going. I want you to skip trace the list. I'll put a link in the description on how to do that as well. And once you pull the list and skip trace the list, pick up the phone and call every single number at least three times. First thing you're gonna do is go down and call everybody one time. Then you're gonna call back the people who didn't pick up. Then you're gonna call back the people who didn't answer the second time. If you call enough people, you will get a deal. So whether it's driving for dollars, or it's cold calling, you can get a deal. Now, if you have a little bit of money, there's a couple of things that you can do um, where you can uh, budget yourself to be able to ease the amount of time that you're gonna put into the business, but still get the result. You can do text messaging, all right? SMS marketing is huge right now, and it's probably the cheapest way to get deals. At least I'm seeing that in my business. Right? It's costing me about $450 in order to get a deal through SMS marketing, where it'll cost me around $3,000 to get a deal in this market through direct mail. It will cost me about uh, $3,200 to get a deal through cold calling. If I'm using cold callers, you know, uh, external virtual assistants to call, it'll cost me somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, if I'm doing pay-per-click advertising, let's say Facebook traffic, it costs me anywhere between two and three thousand dollars to get an actual deal from that. All right, text messaging costs you less than five hundred dollars. At least it costs me that. All right. So what I'm going to recommend you do, and I'm going to put a link for uh, one of the software that I recommend in the description box. Set up an account with that uh, particular company and. Just plan on taking at least $400 to $500. This is one thing that you can do again, four to $500 in order to get your first deal. An additional uh, strategy would be ringless voicemail. Uh, you can spend between five and $700 per deal. Uh, so what that means is it'll, you'll invest somewhere between five and $700 to get an actual deal. Now, I want you to understand that these numbers are estimated. Your, no, your market may be different. I don't know what the competition is like in your market. You know, I don't, I don't know what your circumstances are. I don't know how your negotiation strategies are, uh, your negotiation tactics. I don't know how skillful you are in that area. Uh, so you wanna be mindful that you know, these are just estimated numbers. You know, for some of you, it might cost a little bit more. For some of you, it might cost less, but these are average numbers on a nationwide basis. Be careful with ringless voicemail in certain areas. There's some laws that's uh, going around that may abolish ringless voicemail. So uh, be careful with that. But for the most part, if you only had that much money today, that's where you can start. One bonus strategy that you can use is an old school strategy, part of the guerrilla marketing tactics. Um, I'm not a big fan of them myself, but I've done it in the past. Uh, they are bandit signs. You can buy, you know, three to five hundred dollars worth of bandit signs and put out, you know, at least a hundred bandit signs every week for 
at least a month. I'm not a big fan of them, but it's just an inexpensive way to get your phone ringing. And an additional bonus strategy that uh, I'm gonna talk about today is the ability to be able to scrape leads on the internet for free, all right? How do you do that? Well, my Investor Deal Pro software actually does that for you. Not only does it scrape 200 plus websites and pulls those leads into the software for you and emails those leads over to you as well, but it also comes with seller landing pages, buyer landing pages, private lender landing pages. It comes with a property site. You can evaluate your deals. It has a, a calculator in the software which will tell you exactly how much to offer. You can pull comparable sales in the software. And uh, we're building out uh, some other features that's gonna be added to the software as well. So check out Investor Deal Pro. I'll, I'll leave a, a link in the description box below. And we'll call that the sixth strategy to finding deals in today's market. So just to recap that one more time, you have driving for dollars, you have cold calling, you have text blasts, you have ringless voicemail, you have bandit signs, or you can simply use uh, a free strategy uh, through my Investor Deal Pro software, and that is generating leads, lead scraping online, all right? My Investor Deal Pro software does that for you. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Just understand, it's gonna take either time or it's gonna take money. You're gonna sacrifice something in order to get to your first deal. Uh, if you're limited on $500 today, uh, I'm biased about this, but Investor Deal Pro is a great way to drive free leads as of today. Or you can use any of the other strategies which will take a little bit of time, a little bit of money, sometimes more time than money, but Either way, if you're driving enough leads, you'll be able to get to your first deal. Don't give up. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, tell all your friends about it, share this video with others, especially those who are struggling to get started in real estate today. Leave a comment. Let me know where you're struggling at in your business. What questions do you have? And I'm gonna uh, generate a Q&A video for you. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.